What's this say? It can't be anything like Limbo. Mum and Dad say that since I haven't been baptised yet, if I die I'll go to Limbo. But there can't be a Limbo. I don't want to go to Limbo. I hate this meditation room too. And I really hate these Bible passages, but it's much better than the closet. I really, really hate the closet. That's what I think every time that I'm yelled at and I go back in there. But I just do the same things again and go back in there. What? When I'm in the dark, cramped closet, I wonder. If I stay here forever, I wonder if I'll turn into a monster. Like a movie monster who kills his mum and dad and messes up this whole house. But when I leave the closet, I'm just me. I couldn't become a monster. I couldn't. So I always apologise to mum and dad. I'm sorry I was bad. I love you more than anyone in the world. Again. Hey, stop that, would you? Huh? Stop that thing. It's hurting my ears. What does? Your phone! Jesus Christ! I hate hearing phones ring. It's yours, right? Make it stop already! You let phones ring! What are you talking about? Huh? Calm down! Make it stop! Calm down! Please! Where are you hearing a phone ringing? There's no phone ringing. In fact, I think I lost my cell phone earlier. So please, calm down. Uh-oh. He's hallucinating now. I hate it. I hate the sounds of phones. Why? Because it always brings bad news. Not always. But of course we're going to get a flashback. Excuse me. Jack Richard! Bearing here? Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Mr. Baring, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. Did he know this is what he was coming down to see? He sounded really calm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife sewed his name on then. Todd Baring. Check behind the neck. Did they really not check? You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Helen. It's me. Hey, Keith, you off loitering somewhere? You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? You're kidding me. Don't go. Stay with me. That's really creepy. What dick! It's being stoic, and then there's that. I'm sorry. I'm scared of phones ringing. I feel like someone's going to tell me about a death in a family again. Well, there's only really Helena, as far as I know. Ever since then, I haven't been able to answer calls. Why'd your son die? I thought how would be a more appropriate, but fair enough. Run over by a truck. Driver died instantly. I couldn't blame anyone. You can still blame someone. Doesn't matter if they're alive or not. I still have idiotic thoughts. Like if I hadn't answered that call, maybe nothing would have even changed. I mean, understandable, I'm sure. I can see people thinking like that in situations. If I'd had been with him, maybe he'd still be alive and smiling. Possibly true. Nothing you can do about it now, though. It's completely stupid. It changed nothing. What could I have done? 
I mean, don't know the context of the situation. Maybe he just ran out in front of traffic. With If he had a parent there, maybe you would have been able to stop him. Maybe you could have done a Nathan Mars. Sorry for grabbing you. I was just confused. Let's go. Actually, that's not a great example, is it? <laughs> Sorry, that was just so... It broke my suspension of disbelief that he's so dispassionate that way. It's like there was no change in character at all. Oh, that's an iron gate. I thought it was like a hole in the floor where a blade would sick through. Maybe it is still the voice acting just killing my... Immersion? I don't know, but... Fuck me. I just can't take it that seriously. I didn't look at this, did I? Code for the secret room. The genealogy of Adam. Noah's Ark. The Tower of Babel. Great. So it's four numbers, wasn't it? That's not what I wanted to do. I thought it was in here, but it wasn't. Right. Adam, Noah's Ark, and the Babel. Five one eight two zero What numbers am I supposed to be taking out of this? Because there's too many numbers. Let me let me have a look. Okay. One Twenty or twenty-eight. One twenty. One twenty-seven or one twenty-one? I don't know. Uh. One twenty-seven. No. Uh, tell you what I will do. I'm gonna open the guide. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to have to keep running back and forth. What does the guide say? Uh. Apparently, I don't even have to go in here. <laughs> Never mind then. Ah, oh, jeez. This is all falling apart. Um. I have to just go up here, apparently. Or not. What is this guy telling me? Uh, I don't get it. The guide says to go up there? Ah, oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie, dearie me. Have another look. Genealogy of Adam, I don't know. Five, eight, eleven or twelve? Five, eight, eleven or twelve, let's try it. Five, eight, eleven, twelve. No. Grillion, uh, grillion. Okay. Um. All 
I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. Because it says... Yeah, it says to look at this. And then something will happen. And then go here. No, I think I know where I'm supposed to go. This entire bit is superfluous. Oh God, what a mess. But again, if I hadn't looked at the guide, I wouldn't have thought to go back this way. Because guess what? We actually just have to go this way. I hope Keith and David are alright. It's been so long since they went out. Helena? Helena? Thank goodness you're safe! Where's Keith? He went looking for you. Oh, but I'm so glad. Now we'll just wait for those two to return and... <laughs> Ellipsis! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Wait! Where are you going? To look for Keith! I... I have to go... That man's going to come. He'll catch me. Well, don't worry. We got like four, three. Okay, two, we've got two badasses here. <laughs> don't go, Helena. Stay here with us. You'll be all right. Yeah, it's a better option. Y yes, Helena. You should be safe with us. To go out simply isn't. Helena, Lance. Goodbye, Lance. <laughs> what are you thinking? You know how dangerous it is to go it alone. Let go. If I don't run. That man will catch me. She's already traumatized. Yeah, she's awfully tra- Oh yeah, she's obviously traumatized. Just smack her or something. So, so then why not stay with us? You gotta calm down, lady. Not, not, not that I condone just hitting people, but, you know, she's obviously in a state of terror. No! If, you need to snap if her out of it, I'm mate. Caught, Keith will- Keith? What about Keith? Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, wait! How is she f Actually, no, to be fair, he is injured. But how- <laughs> Why has no one else gone after him, like? Oh, no, I guess I can believe it. Don't split the group and all that. <sighs> Where'd she go? He got to where we were? Lance, what are you doing out here? Hey, guys. <sighs> you, you guys. Hey, we saw Helena. She was okay. R really? Yeah. Yeah, but I lost her. We gotta catch up. She should be nearby. Well, the gate to the left is open. Oh yeah, he's open. I'm taking room, you back way. to the room. What? You going deaf? I told you your woman's close by. <laughs> your woman. And what's the plan if you're attacked? We can't run with that leg. You. Don't you tell me what I can't do. You'll pass out from blood loss, mate. Lance, stop it. You know, that cocky freak is scary. But in my eyes, you're scarier. What? I'm grateful that you saved me. But past that, you're shady as all get out. I never know what you're thinking. For all the lengths you go to to save people, you never show any emotion. Never get upset. Now's not the time to be a detective. Not to mention knowing all about my past and trying to scare me with that. Just like that other guy. Sorry, how is the other guy not scarier than Keith? Tell me, why do you know about me? Well, I admit his voice is very much not intimidating and is kind of a joke. He is going around murdering people. <laughs> I liked your articles about the Bronx incident. They were pretty on point. I was wondering when I could read more, but more never came because the author had left journalism. Huh? When I heard your name, I had my suspicions. And it turned out I was right. One leading question, and I'd gotten you. I didn't mean to go fishing through your past. I just read your articles. Shut up, phone. And you talk just like your articles read. It really has that unpleasant attitude. <sighs> you should have told me that before. What'd you have to scare me for? I just wanted to tease you for picking fights with everyone. Want to take it to court? I'll win. Okay. I really don't get you. Can't even tell if you're serious or a huge joker. 
I've only just realised that he has actually put the towel. Or it looks like he's. Uh, I forget. Is it a tourniquet or whatever? Where you just um, tie it around an area to stop blood flow, so it doesn't bleed as much. But I would have thought that you wouldn't need to do that. Man, cuts, it might be just I be can tell too. one thing. You're not just an unfeeling Robocop. The whole never shaken thing is just an act, huh? Hope so. I shouldn't be inviting citizens to panic. Stop saying crap about shoulds and shouldn'ts! Listen, I know. Deep down, you think we're just annoyances. Don't really care what happens to us, because ultimately we're total strangers. And you're sketchy as hell for trying to hide that. Why you gotta hide that? If we're just in your way, say it. Don't go so far protecting us that you'll kill yourself off. If you want to save your woman right now, then do it. Go back to the room, Lance. I'll look for Helena, too. Did you forget what I just said? You're an annoyance. Go away. Grow up. <laughs> right you are. You go you're back an, with Lance. You're annoying. Go away. <laughs> I know, oh, it's very valid that Lance go back, but still, it's just funny. I'll be fine. Don't let him get hurt anymore. Go. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Wait. I'll take you there. You stick with Keith. What if something happens to you? Shut up! It's fine, you baby face. Baby face? Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want this to be done. I, I do not feel happy with how this Let's Play has gone. I feel I've done a terrible job commenting, and I feel like I've been very stupid, and I'm just not invested. I'm sorry, I'll just lay it out there for you. <laughs> I don't think it's horrible. I think it's alright. It's definitely got its good points, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the game, of course. But it's just, you know. I've been waiting, detective. I haven't seen you for a bit, actually. I'm in a very bad mood right now. Because I keep losing to you. <sighs> because you're an idiot. Life really doesn't go the way you want it, huh? Even when you try to break up the monotonous days, it just doesn't work out. Too right. Sadly enough, even this fun game is almost over. Catch the boogeyman and you win. Happy end. His mic kind of peaked there for a second. But that's alright. I'll put up a good fight with you, detective. Then we'll see what ending we're getting. Would he have to fight him with a boss fight? It or goes one way or the other. Victory or defeat. Nice and simple, right? I keep forgetting that these games have had boss fights. Sure. Wow, he is really... He ain't shit. That was fucking easy! <laughs> Who are you? He's Brendan. I'm calling it. I'm not anyone, detective. Unless he is a boogie. Ouch. Ouchie. Ooh. Looks like you did things out of order, detective. Is that right? But still, not bad. Helena? David, where's Keith? How did you get here? Oh no, I guess no, she could have gotten past them easily, what am I talking about? We came here together earlier, then we split up. He must be that way, let's go look for him. He sounds like he's trying to keep his voice down because his parents have just got home. Keith! Keith! Please, Keith, get up! Don't move him, Helena. Uh, uh, first we need to stop the bleeding. Helena's voice acting suddenly just got good. Or better. <laughs> Helena, are you there? I am. 
them. It's okay, Keith. We'll stop the bleeding. Can't see. Blood in my eyes. Helena, you there? Helena. Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Helena, what's wrong? Uh oh. Fucking hell, the <laughs> size of that bed. You were crying. Have a bad dream. I had an awful dream. It was all a dream. What was it like? I bet it wasn't. I don't want to remember it. She's, she's dreaming now, isn't Helena, she? you need to wake up soon. Yep. I want to sleep a little longer. Wake up, Helena. The bad dreams are always the real ones. Um. Okay. Get away from the window. Were you asleep, Helena? Helena? I was dreaming. What kind of dream? A happy dream. Good. I'm glad you can get some sleep. Do you think you can eat anything? I'm done cleaning the storeroom, so I thought I'd make you something. I'm not hungry. You need to eat, Helena. It's not healthy. I'll make you something simple. Where are they? Thanks for your help, Shirley, but it's fine. You don't have to do anything. I'm just glad you came. If you can get to sleep, then maybe you should sleep. But isn't it chilly by the window? Come to the bedroom. I want to be here right now. It's my favorite place. This doesn't sound good. I always like to see my son coming home from kindergarten, or Keith coming home from work. This is the house? I, why do I remember them living in a not amazing place? Am I high? I'm probably just high. This must be a great place then. Helena, you remind me of a friend of mine. She got along really well with her husband. So, when her husband left, she was very depressed. She told me that her son's support helped her get her back on her feet. She was a really good person. When I was introduced to her, she told me she was glad to have a daughter-in-law. Aww, David's mom. But I didn't know much about becoming anyone's family. I thought, if my parents threw me away, how could I ever be a part of a stranger's family? And she noticed my worry, so she told me this. While I had an unhappy marriage, through it, I met my beloved son. But not everyone can have such happy meetings. So... If you're unsure, I won't mind if you run away. Ultimately, I let anxiety get the best of me and I ran. And by the time I resolved to come back, she was already gone. I still regret my cowardice, but I know it's too late. David seemed to think that you and Keith didn't get along, but I never thought that for a second. I did. You were always so concerned for Keith, and Keith always sounded kind when he spoke to you. I knew you must have really valued each other. I thought you sounded like you couldn't give a shit. I thought I'd like to be like that myself, but it's not so easy. I still don't know how to go about it. 
I'm sure you just need lots of wonderful memories. It's okay, Shirley. You two will be just fine. Thanks. Why do the people so close to you always have to go so soon? Uh, Helena, sorry, uh, I was cleaning the living room and I and I broke something. Yo, yo, uh, Davey! Uh, hold on, what did you break? Uh, a glass cat? A glass cat? Y you broke a Swarovski ornament! What are you doing? Jesus, calm down, it was an accident! That's why I said I should clean the storeroom. You know I'm clumsy. There's even more stuff in there! That would be a disaster! Oh god, now this isn't the time or place! Say what? <laughs> you two are just too adorable. Aww. There's nothing to worry about, Shirley. You're a wonderful pair. I know you'll get on fine. Aww. I don't want any more bad dreams. I'm exhausted. Wait. I just want to have happy dreams. Get away from the window. Helena! No! Oh! <laughs> no! No! Please! Ooh. Helena. She did. <laughs> oh. That's messed up, dude. Bad end for happy dream.